Good day, everyone. Okay, so it, uh, let's have another example. Okay, so example number five. Ito sa 1.28. Ito yung magiging example number five natin. So, the 500 Newton weight is supported by two cables. The cable forces being F1 and F2. Knowing that the resultant of F1 and F2 is a force of magnitude 500 Newton acting in the y direction determine F1 and F2. So, ito yung ano natin yun. Ito yung uh, figure natin. Okay? So, merong weight na 500 Newton sa kami dalawang force. Okay? So, dito na problem na to is magamit natin yung ano equilibrium equations. Okay? Pag sinabi natin equilibrium equations, yun yung summation of forces along horizontal or x is 0 and summation of forces along y axis is 0. Bakit? Equilibrium. Okay? Nang sa ganun, statics, uh, hindi to gumalaw, okay? Maging, ma, uh, ma-maintain niya ang kanyang equilibrium, hindi siya kagalaw, okay? So, para ma-counteract yung 500 newton, kailangan niya maging ano, maging uh, uh, in the state of equilibrium. Kaya may summation of forces x equal 0 and summation of forces y is equal to 0. Okay, so para mas maintindihan, let's have an example. Okay, so kinopia ko lang din yung problem. So kahit ito yung ano natin, okay, so may F1 tayo, saka may F2. Okay, tandaan natin may angle na 35 degrees at saka 50 degrees. Pababa yung 500 newton. So, yung una kong ginawa is nag some forces ako along y axis. Okay? Pag sinabing y axis, yun yung, okay, ito yung y, ito yung x. Okay? Lagyan natin siguro ng, ano, lagyan natin ng x din. Dito banda yung x. Okay? Yan. So, yan. y is equal to 0. So, therefore, f1 sin 35 degrees plus f2 sin 50 degrees minus 500 equals 0. Okay? Bakit positive yung f1 at f2? Kasi, pataas, nag-assume tayo na pataas okay, ito summation of forces y equal 0 at uh, upward as positive so positive si F1 at F2 si 500 is negative okay, bakit sign? kasi yung vertical component is uh, opposite sa angles respectively, both sa F1 and F2 kaya ganyan, okay, so ito yung equation 1 natin, F1 sign 35 degrees plus F2 sign 50 degrees, okay so, equation 1 pa lang yan. So, let's have another uh, assumption. Summation of forces x is equal to 0. So, kailangan maging 0 din tong x component. So, therefore, if, uh, okay, to the, to the right as positive, ang assume natin, pwede ka rin mag-assume the other way around, pero mas mahilig ako sa napapositive yung right. Kasi nakasanayan na natin sa, ano, sa... Uh, sa pag-graph natin ng ano, Cartesian coordinate plane na positive si right, negative si left, positive si upward, negative si downward. Kaya negative F1 cosine 35 degrees plus F2 cosine 50 degrees. Okay? So, nilipat ko si F2 doon. Okay? So, ganyan yung nangyari. And then, therefore, meron tayong equation 2 na F1 is equal to F2 cosine 50 over cosine 35. Okay? Nang sa ganun, masubstitute natin itong value na to dito sa F1. Nang sa ganun, makuha natin una si F2. Okay? By substitution, ito yung equation 1 natin. Sinubstitute natin yung equation 2 sa equation 1. Ayan. So, yung, okay, to make the long story short, okay, nakuha natin yung value ni F2, which is 411.141. And then, Ibak substitute natin to dito na sa equation 2. Nang sa ganun, makuha natin si F1. Yan. Okay? So, ang F1 is 322.621 Newton. So, yan yung ano natin, problem. Yan yung solutions natin. Okay? So, this is an example of equilibrium. Uh, um, gumamit tayo ng equilibrium equations nang sa ganun makuha natin yung mga components ng forces ni F ah si F1 saka si F2. Kaya yan yung okay, yan yung tanong. Yan yung solutions natin. Okay, at yan yung sagot. Okay?